All right, in this video, we'll be looking at simplifying algebraic expressions. Before we start simplifying those expressions, first of all, let's go ahead and talk about what an algebraic expression is. An algebraic expression is an expression that has both variables and numbers, and I've got four examples here of algebraic expressions. Notice they do not have equation or equal signs, therefore they're not called equations. These are expressions. All right, so to simplify, we're going to go ahead and combine like terms. And those are terms that are alike. So if you look at number one here, the like terms would be the 2 and the 4. And the reason these two are like terms is because neither one of those has a variable attached to it. Therefore, we're going to combine those or add them together. So if I add the 2 plus the 4, I end up with a positive 6. Now notice that 3x, there's nothing to add with that 3x. Therefore, we're just going to bring that 3x down. And I have just simplified this algebraic expression. So this now becomes 3x plus 6. Again, all I did in this particular one was add the 2 and the 4. Those are like terms. All right, let's try another one. Let's take a look at number 2. The expression here is 5x plus x minus 5. So again, we're going to combine the like terms. In this case, the like terms are going to be my 5x and my x. Both of those have x's. Therefore, we can combine them. So if I have 5x's and I add one more x, that would now be a total of 6x's. There's nothing to add with that negative 5, so I'm going to bring it down. And I have just simplified this expression. I now have 6x minus 5. Alright, let's try number 3. Again, we're simplifying the expression. We're looking for like terms. So if you notice here, we have four different terms. We're going to look for the ones that are like. I can take this 3x and this 6x and combine those. Those are considered like terms. They both have x's. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add those together. So 3x's plus 6x's would give me 9x's. Now notice in this case, this negative 2 and this 7 would also be considered like terms. Neither one of those has a variable. Therefore, we're going to add those two together. So if I add a negative 2 plus a 7, I end up with a positive 5. Therefore, after simplifying, we end up with 9x plus 5. Number 4, same thing. We're going to combine the like terms. This 6x can be combined with this 1x. And if I put those together, now I have 7x's. I can also take this negative 1 and this negative 5 and combine those. Those are considered like terms. And if I add those two numbers together, a negative 1 plus a negative 5 ends up giving me a negative 6. Therefore, we can simplify this to 7x minus 6. All right, let's take a look at some more examples. Number 5, this is another algebraic expression. First thing we're going to do here is get rid of those parentheses using some distributive property. So what we're going to do is take this 2 and multiply it with that x. So 2 times x is 2x. We're also going to take that 2 and multiply it with the 3. So 2 times 3 is going to give us a 6. Now notice that 7x is not inside the parentheses, so don't try and multiply it with the 2. Just bring it down. All right, so now that I've gotten rid of the parentheses, now what we're going to do is look for the like terms. In this case, the like terms are going to be this 2x and this 7x. Those are the ones that we're going to combine. So if we combine those two together, 7x and 2x's is going to make 9x's. Since there's nothing to add with that 6, we're just going to bring that 6 down. And we have just simplified this expression. This now becomes 9x plus 6. Let's try another one. Same idea, we're going to get rid of the parentheses using distributive property. We're going to multiply 3 times 2x, which is going to give us a 6x. Then we're going to multiply 3 times the 5, which is going to give us a 15. Now remember that negative 5 is not in the parentheses, so don't try and multiply it with the 3. Just bring it down. Now that there's no more parentheses, we're going to look for those like terms. And this time it's the 15 and the negative 5 that are like terms. So we're going to add those two numbers together. The 15 plus the negative 5 is going to add up to a positive 10. And since there's nothing to add with that 6x, we're just going to bring it down. 
Therefore, we end up with 6x plus 10. Let's try one a little harder, number 7. This time we have two sets of parentheses, so we're going to have to use the distributive property twice. 2 times the x is going to give us a 2x. 2 times the 3 is going to give us a 6. So there's the first uh, set of parentheses. That's the first distributive property. Let's go ahead and do that again with the other set of parentheses. The 3 times the x is going to give us a positive 3x. 3 times a negative 2 is going to give us a negative 6. Now we're going to go in there and look for the like terms. I'm going to start with the x's. we got two x's here, three x's here. If I combine those x's together, I now have five x's. Now I'm going to combine the positive 6 with the negative 6. Neither of those have variables, therefore we can combine them. So if we add a positive 6 with a negative 6, we end up with a 0. Now it's really not necessary to put a plus 0 there, so we're just going to write this as 5x. So after simplifying, we end up with 5x. Number 8, same as number 7. Distributed property twice. 5 times x is going to be a 5x. 5 times a negative 1 is going to be a negative 5. Let's do that distributed property again. 2 times x is going to be a 2x. And 2 times 3 is going to give me a 6. Alright, now let's look for those like terms. 5x and 2x, add those together, now you have 7x. And then we're going to take the negative 5 and the positive 6. When you add those two together, you end up with a positive 1. Therefore, after simplifying this, we end up with 7x plus 1.